Welcome to the Stop Over Drinking and Start Living podcast, where high achieving working moms come to learn how to stop over drinking, reduce overwhelm and anxiety, and show up like the players they were meant to be. I'm your host, Angela Masenek, and let's dig in. Welcome to episode 66, why I love helping women stop over drinking. Hi guys, how's it going? I'm so happy to be recording my podcast. It seems like ages though, (laughs) since I was here last week recording the last episode, right? Do you guys feel like time is kind of moving slowly or just all sort of like Groundhog's Day right now? (laughs) You're not alone, but we're getting through it. I think we're starting week three of the home quarantine and we got a head start on it because my daughter Ayla got the flu and so then we just went on lockdown and did all the things to not expose her or any of us and our germs to the other people, right? So we're starting week three. My kids and I are doing an art challenge. It's called the Isolation Art Challenge. You guys can find it on Facebook. It's a group and every day they give us a theme like essential or human or um, stuff like that. I don't know what the other themes are, but they're good. And then they just, we just draw or paint whatever the theme is. And we've been doing it every single day. And it's so fun to see and like post them on there and see everybody else's art. And it just takes a, it's like a little brain break for me and for the kids. And since we're doing the homeschooling thing, it checks the box for their creative requirement. (laughs) We've been doing a lot of dog walks, hiking, um, at home exercises, drawing, and I'm just spending a lot of time with my clients right now, helping them, doing extra classes, um, even for the general public, free things, free pop-up classes, extra group coaching calls in my, in my paid coaching program. And some something that my coach, one of my coaches, asked me to do today was explain what I do to a seven-year-old. So I'm going to do that for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to explain what I do as if you guys were like a seven or eight-year-old, okay? So what do I do? I help women stop over drinking. And so the seven-year-old says, why do they over drink? <laughs> And I say, oh, sometimes they feel stress about all the things they have to manage, like work, and then they come home and they take care of the house and they do the cooking and cleaning, or sometimes something sad or unexpected happened in their life and they don't, and they start drinking to sort of make themselves feel better, but drinking really doesn't help them feel any better. And they know that, but they don't know how to feel better on their own. So they just keep doing it. So I help by listening to them and understand their problems and teach them how to fix it and to not be so hard on themselves when they aren't perfect. And I love the way I describe this in this assignment, right? So it's like easy, right? People feel bad about something or they feel stressed and they drink to make themselves feel better and they know it doesn't really help because the next day they feel even worse and they, but they just keep doing it over and over again. They don't know how to stop, right? <laughs> and I help them fix that. And to learn how to be easy on ourselves and not to beat ourselves up when we don't aren't perfect all the time, right? So I love that simplest way to describe what I do. I help women feel better so they don't turn to alcohol to help them manage any aspect of their lives. We pivot from using alcohol as a tool to manage our lives to learning how to feel better so we don't need alcohol. And when this happens, you aren't constantly thinking about it, beating yourself up about over drinking, making false promises to yourself about it. All of that is gone and you're driven to do more other interesting and fulfilling things in your life like exercising or reading or decluttering your, decluttering your house or art projects or going for a bigger role at work or making more money, that sort of thing. And it's so fun. For me to see this shift in my clients and see, and when they see things in a whole new way, they're celebrating their successes and sharing their amazement at how good they're feeling and they're doing harder things and they have more confidence to do that extra project or to show up bigger for their work or their, or for their families. And they are having fun without alcohol, which is super cool to see because some of the biggest fears women's have, women have is that their lives are over 
if they stop over drinking, right? Or they take a break from alcohol and their friends won't be, or they won't, their friends won't want to be with them and everything in their life would change. Like this is a real fear that a lot of people have. Okay. But what they recognize is that over drinking isn't actually fun anymore. Right. But, but waking up feeling great, doing what they said they would do, being present with their kids and their spouses, exercising more is actually way more fun than not remembering right? Feeling foggy in the morning, feeling bloated and tired and regretful. Okay. What is also super fun about seeing my clients change is that more often they, than not, they're influencing the people around them at work, at home, their friends, the work they're doing rubs off on the other people and they notice their spouse is drinking less, their kids are engaging with them more, they're having meaningful and deeper conversations and being more vulnerable with sharing what is going on with their friends and finding that their friends are super supportive and encouraging and often do it with them. And I love seeing them challenge themselves more like the longer they are doing the work. So when women join the program, they typically start off with making a drink plan for themselves that they're comfortable with, right? Like having two to three drinks on the weekend nights. And then later in the program, they're going two weeks or 30 days without alcohol. And when they challenge themselves in this way, it's like this magic light switch goes on for them and they feel free and they try new activities and they have this confidence to do other harder challenges. I've noticed with the women in my program, and this goes for myself as well, before coaching, it's like I call before coaching BC and after coaching AC. So BC for me and for women who are just joining the program is that we all have this one constant theme and that, that, and that is that we're very hard on, our, on themselves, right? So they start the program with a very low self-appreciation and self-love because they've been struggling for so long to not overdrink or to lose weight and they have failed repeatedly time after time after time. So from day one and throughout the whole program, I teach them to love themselves no matter what, even if they have unplanned drinking events or they overdo it or they don't aren't perfect, okay? And when we do that and we learn to love ourselves and accept ourselves the way we are and stop beating ourselves up, we feel better about ourselves and our lives, right? And when we feel better, we tend to not search for things to make ourselves feel better, like buying clothes or extra shit in our homes that we don't need or scrolling on Facebook or drinking or eating or searching for that pleasure outside of ourselves, right? When we're feeling good about ourselves, we're not on the search for those things, okay? So we do exercises in the program that help them see how amazing they really are and I help them reprogram how they think about themselves. And when I see them start to think differently about themselves and to stop judging themselves, it makes my heart melt because there is no pain like the pain when you don't feel worthy. Okay. And when they start to feel better about themselves, they gain more confidence and they try harder things and they go after what they want and they drink less and they eat less. It is the best job in the whole world to help women transform their lives. And you, if you guys are in the program, I love you, first of all. And if you've worked with me in the past, I love you. But you know it's really not about the drinking, right? Drinking is something we do in response to how we feel. And our emotional state is created with how we think about ourselves, our lives, our past, and our future, okay? So when my clients start to think differently and feel better, they drink less and do more of what they actually want to be doing. And seeing all that take place week after week and month after month is the most rewarding thing I have ever experienced. It's an absolute honor to get to go on that journey with them. It reminds me of my own journey and the amazement that happened in my life at that time. And now that I'm well past that, I don't get to see or get to experience the same fast transformations anymore. So seeing them through my clients is so fulfilling for me. Okay, one more thing about my program and my clients and how awesome this work is. The women in my coaching program are fucking badasses. They are so brave. They're willing to share intimate details about their lives. And when they do this, they are met with the most love and support I have ever seen. Really, like they support each other. They have developed friendships with each other offline, outside of the program. They get to know each other well. And whenever someone needs extra support, they are right there lifting them up. 
if you guys could just imagine a group of sisters who have all have the same struggles, all share the same thoughts coming together to learn how to stop over drinking and they're failing and they're winning and they're changing and they're connecting and growing. They're like a tribe. They're all high achievers, all successful. Some are mothers, some are grandmothers, some are single, but they all have a common thread, a will and a drive to figure this out once and for all. They are willing to invest in themselves because they believe they are worth it and they believe they can change and they are willing to do the work to get there. It is the best place to be if you identify as someone who is a high achiever, someone who has done hard things and overcome obstacles in your past, who struggle with over drinking and can't quite figure out that on your own, and you've tried multiple things and times and suffered for years, and you are willing to invest in yourself and your life, you would be very welcome inside the program. I absolutely love my group. It's the best thing I've ever created. I love coaching them, getting to know them, and going through this crazy circumstance that we all have in common right now with them. And you want to be here if you overdrink, especially right now. There isn't a program like this anywhere with the amount of support you receive to the high volume weekly coaching calls, to the hours upon hours of resources and videos that are available to you any time of the day. My program is the creme de la creme of the stop over drinking programs, and you'd be crazy to not join it. (laughs) Just yesterday, I asked the women in my program how not over drinking during this pandemic is helping them, and I'm going to read a few of their responses to you guys, okay? Christine says, I can get more accomplished during the free time I have been given. Before, if I felt tired, I would be less motivated to get things done. When I get more done, I feel better and keep going. Wendy says, The pandemic is scary and we are bombarded with news and media reports of the dire situation. With the tools Angela has given me, I can control the chatter in my mind, acknowledge my feelings, and truly breathe. Learning to not buffer with food and alcohol is a gift of freedom that is changing my life in so many wonderful ways. In spite of this incredibly challenging time in the world, during, during, doing this work has allowed me to understand that I am in control of my thoughts and I am motivated to continue that behavior. Catherine says, I now recognize that urgency feeling and see it for what it is, a vibration, not an emergency. I don't have to react like I used to by buffering and numbing out with wine. And if I do slip up and overdrink, I can lovingly restart at any time. I love that. Lori says, I learned to honor my commitment. I am off work now and quarantined to home. Because I am not drinking, I am sticking to my daily plan. I am gardening. I am decluttering. And for the next probably five days, I am taking everything out of the garage and painting the walls and ceiling. I wish we had done this 14 years ago when we built. I am so thankful I invested in myself to finally conquer this habit. It's such freedom. Stephanie says, Not over drinking during this pandemic has helped me be more present in my life. I am not waking up hungover. I don't feel like crap all day. I'm not short with my husband and son. I'm not over overly emotional and I'm not checked out after a certain time because I have started drinking. Not over drinking has kept me from getting involved in online political and moral banter, resulting in negative feeling or resentment the next day. Not over drinking has helped me be in control of all of my faculties. I wake up in the morning ready to tackle the day, whatever it may bring. I am thankful for not over drinking because of the first time in a very long time. I actually feel in control of my thoughts, feelings, and life, and I'm pretty proud of myself. I love this so much. Stephanie is a badass and she's been in the program for a couple of months and to see her share this um, result for herself right now and her thoughts about this program and her feeling like she's in control for the first time in a long time is exactly why I do what I do because I know what that struggle is like. I know what feeling out of control feels like. I felt like that for 20 plus years. And when you get into the program and you learn how to do this and you apply it to your life and you start reaping the benefits of it, there's nothing like it. No wine buzz can top this and what Stephanie is explaining right now. 
Amy says, at first I thought to myself, I'll be lenient with my drink plan during this time. Then I realized this is a time for me to hone my skill. I'm great at not over drinking when everything is going well now, but here's my chance to make sure I'm great at not over drinking when times get tough in all caps. I am so thankful I am not over drinking during this time. (laughs) I've been focusing on my ultimate goal of health and wellness and it's going great. I'm also focusing on homeschooling. I've had two slip slip ups with over drinking, but I'm doing the work on my failures and learning. I remember how hard I used to think this work was back when I started. Now it's old hat. Julie says, after one life coaching call, I learned to not judge myself for the way I feel. I was getting so upset with myself for feeling negative that I cried my whole second week at juggling full-time stay-at-home working mom. Now I'm going on week four of stay-at-home working mom. I feel like I've got this. My mind feels so much more clear without the negative chatter. And when I do feel something negative, I tell myself, yep, that sucks. Now let's have a different thought. I put it in the thought model and it's like magic. It's been easier to not over drink when I'm not beating myself up. I look forward to my 6 a.m. journaling time, catch up on email, look at my work calendar for the day and having an hour to myself before my family wakes up to plan my work day and how my husband and I will make sure our toddler is taken care of. Julie, you guys, this is just a few examples of what people are saying about having the skill set to not over drink during this time. So if you want to stop over drinking, there really hasn't been a better time than right now, today. All right. So there's a couple of ways you can join me. You can just decide that you're ready <laughs> and to do this and you can join my program, but we need to speak first. I only let women in who are really ready to go and they believe I am the one that can help them there and they are ready to jump in And I just need to make sure your current drinking habits fit with how I can help. So you want to request a 20-minute phone call by clicking the link in the show notes or by visiting AngelaMasenic.com and go over to the Stop Over Drinking and Start Living podcast and click on this episode or any of the episodes. I I put that link to request a 20-minute call there. Or I'm teaching another free masterclass this Sunday, April 6th, April 5th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm going live on my Facebook page every day starting Wednesday, April 1st of this week leading up to the masterclass. So every day live on my Facebook page, which is at coach with Angela Masenic is my Facebook page starting Wednesday through Saturday every day. I, leading up to the free masterclass with a Q&A. So you can come on there, you can ask me any questions, and I'm going to provide you with daily tips on how to not over drink during hard times. And you can register for all of this in the free masterclass by clicking the link in the show notes, or you can just send me an email at Angela at Angela and let me know you want in on that class and I'll register you. Okay, do this now. Use our current situation as an opportunity to change. You've been given one life. There's only one shot. (laughs) And so let's live it the best way you can. Stay strong and healthy, my friends. I love you so much. Take care.